Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Shanghai World Financial Center Tower. And first I'm going to be going over a brief history of this building so you can see how they got to the actual shape of the building. And then I'm going to be jumping into Revit and I'm going to show you how to model that shape in Revit. And if you're here just for the Revit tutorial then you can hit this timestamp over here and just jump to that time and then you can skip over the history part and go straight into the Revit tutorial. Shanghai World Financial Center is a super tall skyscraper in Pudong district in Shanghai in China. It was designed by the architect Cohen Peterson Fox and it was later developed and built by the Mo Reconstruction Company. After 11 years it was finally finished in 2008 and the construction of this building was delayed a bit because of some design changes and more on that later and because of the Asian financial crisis of 97 and 98. Now when this was built it was briefly the tallest building in the world until it was surpassed by the great Burj Khalifa and if you want to see how to model Burj Khalifa I have a tutorial on that and the link to that tutorial is in the description of this video. Now you're probably thinking wasn't Taipei 101 taller than the Shanghai World Financial Center and yes and no depends on what, who do you ask. Taipei 101 had a lower roof but it had a higher antenna. Now do you count antennas? I leave that up to you. The shape of the building came to be by cutting a square prism by two cosmic arches. This is because in Chinese history circles have great symbolic value but this wasn't really enough for the designers so they decided to kind of poke a hole in the top of the building. This is mainly because they didn't want the birds to have to kind of fly around the building and instead because of this hole they can fly right through it. <laughs> okay, it probably had something to do with aerodynamics, wind and stuff as well. But did you know that one of the first designs were to have a circular hole on top of this building? And architects actually considered at one point to place a freaking gondola going around this circle. Now thankfully the Japanese when they saw it they just said no. Even though architects kind of tried to explain that this building now had a relationship with the Oriental Pearl TV Tower and how people with OCD can watch the cityscape comfortably because they know that the circular void on their building can be kind of plugged by the Oriental Pearl TV Tower ball. The Chinese didn't get that either and their only concern was that the circular hole kind of reminded them of the rising sun which was on the Japanese flag. And you can't have the tallest building in the world that happens to be in China have a Jap flag on it. I mean it just wouldn't work. So they decided to ditch the circular design for a trapezoid hole and instead of that circular gondola they decided to place an observation bridge both on the bottom and the top of the trapezoid and the one on the top actually has a glass floor. Now that's quite cool. Okay that's it for this brief history of the design now it's time to go into Revit and see how to model this. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to be using the architectural template for this and I'm using Revit 2019. And if you want to know how to download the newest version of Revit, I suggest you check out the link in the description. Okay, so first I'm just going to set the units to meters for this project. Hit OK. And now let's jump straight into massing and sight. In place mass, because this building will need to be built as an in place mass. Just let's call it mass 1. Okay, now we need to add some reference planes to have a reference in space. So I'm just going to use reference plane or you can use the RP shortcut. So I'm just going to place one like this horizontally, horizontally and one vertically. And for the horizontal one I'm just going to name it front to back or just FB. And I'm using basically the naming strategy that Revit uses for some families. So it's always nice to keep the same method of naming things as Revit. And this will be left right so just LR. Ok so once we have this now we can create our basic extrusion or our square prism and you're probably thinking about using a rectangle but I don't want this building to be like a rectangle like this. I want it to be kind of like this rotated by 45 degrees and we can't really do that with this rectangle tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use actually this inscribed polygon 
and change the number of sides to 4 and leave it at a level 1 and then I can do this and as you can see now we have basically we have what we want so we have our rectangle that's rotated our square that's rotated by 45 degrees so now I can just jump into 3D select this thing and go create form and now extrude it to however much you want now because I'm not really making this in a perfect scale so I'm just going to make it look okay let's say this is the the, the height that we want so once I have this I can go back into level 1 so I want to go to one of these elevations so let me go to east elevation and now we can cut this extrusion with those two cosmic arcs so I'm just going to go here to arc and for the work plane I'm going to go by name and then I'm going to choose the left right one go OK and make sure that 3d snapping is not checked so you can kinda stay in the work plane you've set and here you can just check draw on work plane to make sure that it stays on that work plane and now we can start creating our basically our void so I just like to start not from the bottom but a bit up so let's start from 20 meters perhaps and then I'm going to finish over here like this and then now let's create the radius of our cosmic arc like so and if you can't see it anymore just make sure to turn on wireframe okay now you can see it and now what I'd like to do is I like to mirror it around and here I'm just going to use trim and extend to trim and extend this like so and then I'm going to choose this fillet arc tool and see if this works and if it doesn't then just use a regular arc like so okay now you can select just one of these and kinda bring it down over here and bring it down over here as well okay now I can just use lines so go from here to here to here and all the way back down okay this looks alright now let's go into 3d and this is what we have now let just select this whole shape you go to create form and choose void form now as you can see it only cut half of the building so you need to select kinda here and extend this void and now it's cutting through the whole building and we get that characteristic shape okay now it's time to cut the to poke the hole over here for the birds to fly through and for that let's go into south elevation and here we have our building and let's just use simple lines or maybe let's start with a rectangle that's perhaps a bit easier and then I'm just going to change this to name and go front back and let's just create a rectangle like so so place it kinda like that and again if you can't see it anymore just make sure to go into wireframe and now you can just bring in the sides a bit and maybe bring them out a bit here okay and let's do the same thing here and now if I go into 3d again I can select this go create form void and then extend it a bit over there go finish select this side over here extend it a bit over here and we have our void in the middle okay now you go finish mass and now this is the whole thing is in your project and now you can go here to massing in sight and you can add perhaps a curtain system to these all of these facades perhaps like this and you can add floors later on perhaps here you just go to floor or, or you select your mass now we only have one floor so or two floors so let's just try this and as you can see now we have our mass floors over here and then we can go to here floor and then turn these two into actual physical floors but you get the point and more of these levels that you create more floors you can have 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for this little history slash tutorial on how to create this amazing building in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for other tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And please tell me, how do you like this combination of a bit of history about the design of the building and then I show you how to model it in Revit. Okay, that's it for me and I'll see you tomorrow.